Good afternoon, TikTok. This is Miss Norma. I'm, I'm telling you, this is the second time. This was not the reading I chose, but I thought I chose the right book that I thought. But this is what came up today. It's called, it's the reading for July the 31st. It says, before you call, I will answer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Let us pray, family. Abba, Father, thank you, Lord, so much for today, Lord, for your grace and your mercy, for your loving kindness, Lord, for everything that you do for us, Lord. And, Father, truly fitting, this is a before you call, I will answer reading. Thank you, in Jesus' name, blessings to each and every one of my TikTok family members, Lord, to my friends, to my beautiful grandchildren, Lord, for all of them, and even the little ones that belong to my TikTok family, and all of them, thank you, Abba Father, for us being here today. And Lord, as always, I ask that the prayers and the salutations and the blessings would be released, would be released fresh and anew every time someone comes along this video or visits and peruse my TikTok page. Whatever video they watch, Lord, Father, may the blessing of the prayers and the reading be released in their life and refresh them afresh and anew. Some for the first time and some of us that just need some extra encouragement. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, family. Our reading for July 31st comes from the little book, Jesus Always, and is titled, Before You Call, I Will Answer. Before you call, I will answer. While you are still speaking, I will hear. Amen. I know you sometimes feel as if you're alone in the dark. You continue praying because it's the right thing to do. But you wonder if your prayers make any difference. When you are feeling this way, it's good to stop and remember who I am. The King of Glory. Hallelujah. I transcend time, past, present, and future. All are alike to me. This is why I can answer before you even call out to me. Hallelujah. No prayers of yours is ever unheard or unanswered. However, sometimes my answer is no or not yet. At other times, your prayers are answered in ways you cannot see. My wisdom is unsearchable, immeasurably beyond your understanding. Take time to think about the wonders of my infinite intelligence to, and to delight in my endless love for you. Hallelujah. If you persist in this intimate adoration, you will know beyond any doubt that you are never alone. You are mine. Hallelujah. Amen. Our first scripture lesson is from the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 24. It says, before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory. We'll find that in Psalm 24, verse 10. Again, the Old Testament. And lastly, oh, the depths of the riches of both wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. That's the New Testament, Romans 11, verse 33. Amen. Amen. Family, am I excited? Yes, I am excited today. I'm praising and I'm thanking God as I do every day. But I want you to know that we have a God. We serve a God. There is a God. His name is Jehovah. Jesus Christ, his son, God Almighty, our Savior, our Redeemer. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the Lord hears and answers our prayers before we even open our mouths. You hear me? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I want to tell you, within my circle of prayer warriors, I've shared with you all that I'm a prayer warrior. And I believe in the power of prayer. And I experience the power of prayer. 
Last week, well, for the past two months, I have been waiting to find out whether or not if I have cancer. I've had all of these tests and things done, and one test is leading to another test, to another test, to another test. Finally, on July the 5th, they did a biopsy. And in this biopsy, I had to wait from the 5th to the 27th to find out whether or not I have cancer. And I tell you, it's been a tremendous two months. This all started with an x-ray that was mistaken, and it was showing this and that and the other. But by the time I was on my third test, it showed that I had an issue with my thyroid. So I went and I had a thyroid. I had an ultrasound of my thyroid. Then they had to do a biopsy. They did my biopsy on July the 5th, 2023. And I'm praying all along, asking God to be with me. My fellow prayer warriors were praying as well. And I will tell you on the 27th at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I got a call from my doctor telling me there was no cancer. And I thank him. I thank the Lord for his grace and his goodness and mercy because they weren't too sure. One side was okay, my left side, but my right side gave them a little problem. They couldn't quite figure out if there was cancer there or not. And finally, they had to send it out to a different place to get it done, and they found out that I don't have cancer. So I praise the Lord for that. I didn't know. I pray over myself every day. I pray for my life and my health and my strength. I pray for my family, my grandchildren, my children. I pray for you all out here on TikTok. I pray for anyone that I encounter. I meet strangers on the street, and I praise God. I'm able to pray with them and for them and on behalf of them and talk to our Father. So I'm telling you, family, it's nothing that is too hard for the Lord to do. You just have to trust him. You got to trust him in here. And when you trust him in here, it comes out in other places. And I'm not saying I'm trial free because there are other things that are going on in my life. But I press toward the mark because the only sure thing that I have found in this world that works above everything else is my relationship with Jesus Christ. And that's why I share. That's why I'm here, family. That's why I'm here. We all have stuff going on. I do, you do. You don't know my story, and I don't know your story. But we both, by the grace of God, know him. And if you don't know him, you can get to know him. If you want to find out if he's real, all you got to do, we challenge everything else in our lives. Ask God to show you himself. We believe what we read in the newspapers. We believe what somebody else tell us. But ask him personally. Try him. He'll reveal himself to you. He will show you just who he is. That is my encouragement you t to you today. One more story I'd like to share. Within my circle that I move in, we got a distress call. We call him a 911. One of the young people within our circle had attempted to take his own life. But I tell you, God is good. What, where our lesson talks about, before you call, I will answer. When I lay down at night, when I rise up in the morning, I ask the Lord to remember the village that he's made me responsible for. From myself, all the way down to anybody connected to me, blood or no blood. I ask the Lord to cover my lineage. I ask the Lord to protect my family, my friends, the children of my friends and so forth, and the grandchildren and the great grands. And I tell you, what could have been a tragedy today that we would have got all of this bad news that a young person took their life? I tell you, it's because of the power of prayer that his life was not taken. And I praise and thank God for that, that, that some mother is not crying because some grandmother, some great-grandmother is not crying because of the power of prayer. We've got to cover 
our family. And if you don't believe, there's a scripture that says, Lord, I believe, help thou my unbelief. So if you don't believe, but you want to believe, or you don't even understand what belief is, ask the Lord Jesus Christ, and he'll let you know. Amen, family. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. I am joyous today for the blessing of my health. I'm joyous today for my circle that I move in, that we are not planning a funeral, that we are not crying and mourning at the loss of life of one of our young people. So I'm telling you, family, prayer makes the difference. The word says, before I call, before you call, I will answer. And I've read our scripture lessons. It says, Romans 11:33. if I read them before, I got to read them again. It says, oh, the depths of the riches, both of wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Romans 11:33, the New Testament. Again, Psalm 24, verse 10. Who is he, this king of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the king of glory. Amen. And lastly, again from the Old Testament, Isaiah 65, 24 says, Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, my friends. Amen. Amen. And amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. Don't ever doubt the power of prayer. And know that before you even call, God hears you, and I know some of you are facing some unexplainable challenges, but I'm telling you, you got to trust him. Still, even in the midst of adversity. This is Miss Norma signing off. I love you, family. Praise the Lord, and by his grace, I will see you on tomorrow. And I'm still trying to get Elvis DeRooster over to you all as well. Amen. I love you.